Welcome to TradeTheMBI.com. This is John. This report is for the 19th of March. Well, we hit the target. So, we were, you know, uh, it's always that funny thing up here at the 33 or whatever, um, you know, and the suggestion that we should be buying puts and holding on to them. And then, you know, midway as we started to do this little beginning of the collapse, people were asking, what was my target? And I said, I'll see you at 23. It's actually like 1750 was the one I was actually uh, going with, but yeah, 23, 1955, 20, 23, 20, here it is. So, boom. Um, yeah, because if you can't recognize the disaster that's unfolding in front of your very eyes, I mean, it's not every day uh, you get to actually see the makings of a financial collapse literally in front of you. Um, this was something that I talked about um, well, for my daughter's school, they have their class chats, and I just said to them, I'm like, do you, do you even understand you? Because they were all so concerned about isolating everyone and uh, not doing anything, and I was just like, do you understand what you're asking? You're going to take uh, a population of, you know, X millions, and you know that maybe 2 to 4% are going to get, um, you know, have serious complications. It's tragic, yes. But... In this particular case, we already know the real math about unemployment and the number of deaths that increase. I mean, for the U.S. alone, every increase of 1% unemployment is 40,000 extra deaths in the U.S. And this is all well documented. Um, when you send us over to an apocalypse, you're going to create a plethora of health-related issues uh, that go beyond this virus. So it's an impossible situation. I, I appreciate that. But... Um, You've literally destroyed the greatest economy ever created overnight. Just like that. Anyway, enough doom and gloom because the reality is um, being short this market is the right call. Um, are we still looking at the next level, which would be down at 2000? I think it was 2040 something range. So there's potential for that as well. So keep that in the back pocket. Of course, we knew this. We, we had the consistency call of orange cup between cyan and red. We are seeing some uh, midterm buyer activity. This is federal government uh, stepping in uh, that has led to this increase. Does that mean we're going to base here? Just like people thought we were basing up at, uh, you know, 2,900. No, but they're going to make it orderly. We haven't seen a significant increase in our uh, DOC red. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to see like this, 100 point pops within a 200 point decline. It's still a net negative. It's not lose sight of the broader picture. From an NQ standpoint, looking almost identical. It's a little bit stronger here. You can see we already got green crossover. That's impressive. Albeit at a significantly reduced level. Let's just keep moving it forward here. The euro, you know, we talked about it up here that all these positive extremes had to be filled back in. That we were coming right back to the danger zone, which last time yesterday they hit the danger zone and immediately central banks bought up everything they could. We're approaching it again. Uh, we would expect them to be back at the table. The problem you've got is um, the ECB is crumbling and as is most of the markets around the world, uh, you're in a dollar liquidity, you know, nightmare. Um, it maybe wouldn't be so bad if oil wasn't plummeting the way it is, but even at that state, um, it's just a question of how long will it be before U.S. starts buying up uh, the supply? Um, you know, this is the problem. This is something Trump encountered with the CDC. Oh, yeah, go out there, provide tests, you know, make it happen. And nothing seems to go on because this is what happens in bureaucracies. And he realized pretty quick there after, you know, a week of trying to get them to do things, it wasn't going to happen, that they're just not equipped to be responsive, that governments just usually aren't. And so that... Uh, 
private public partnership yes but again you know logistic issues there trying to make these things coordinated same problem with trying to buy up all the oil reserves um and of course then you also have to put them somewhere which is a good thing now when it comes to the bailout stuff uh, this is going to get complicated in 2008 i always thought they messed up when they decided to give the money to the banks instead of just handing it out to the individuals this time they're talking about handing it out to the individuals well let's see if they get it right um at the end of the day, you do need to keep some of these industries alive. What is the proper mechanism? Is it better to just buy seats on a plane rather than just hand the money to the airlines? Um, the problem you've got there, you could give the tickets away. The problem is you can't have anyone traveling uh, under the virus situation. But this is where, you know, like the policy of the UK that was passed now, uh, that they were going to just allow everyone to get it and develop an immunity to it uh, from a broad-based standpoint. Um, they quickly realized, though, that uh, the number of uh, individuals requiring hospital care is significant. So even if you do end up with a anywhere from, well, some people still claim it's a less than 1% mortality rate, you can't tell right now uh, just from a statistics standpoint until after the fact. But even if you probability-wise assume the 1% or 2% or even higher, Italy's is up to uh, 8% and it's going to grow simply because they're now, um, well, at least up north, out of beds. And uh, Italian's version of quarantine is, you know, you got to walk the dog. You still have to you go to the market. You're going to run into a few people. You're going to chit chat a little bit. Uh, but I was pleased. I was out uh, yesterday, and um, but I have my gloves and my mask just to take the... Uh, trash out and um, there were a staggering number of people out so you wonder why the numbers keep increasing in Italy this is the same thing that's going to happen in the US when you see spring breakers and everything else now they're pretty confident because they know that young people don't seem to have the effects but what they do do is take it home to their parents and grandparents and that's uh, a bit more tragic some people are still confused why gold is not doing better than this and i tried to explain this is a very simple reality that you're now went from what might have been a recession to a global depression of epic proportions and even gold is supposed to be a store of value from an inflationary standpoint um there's not going to be any inflation um, now we could get into a hyperinflation when they decide to just spend another 20 trillion dollars to try and prop everything up but again at some point you're just gonna have to eliminate the debts and start over because it's getting kind of stupid at a certain point uh, but that's neither here nor there because at the end of the day we can still trade uh, you know from this 2519 break you had bought your puts right there there wasn't really anything to do at that particular point uh, unless you feel like uh, trading in between them because we ended up with some nice signals uh, again even with the abm um, doh here when you get our little resets uh, still trading above and below the line from a long standpoint to a short standpoint is very effective now when that blue candle comes in you can recognize that it's blue because we're below that negative 15.5. So it's just suggesting, hey, you've made this initial move, but you're still uh, not out of the woods yet. You're looking, and what happened was is that you broke above that negative 13. Let me get rid of this extra line here. There's a block in our view. There we go. You can see the white line. And immediately you have the green cyan test, but it separates right after. So it's one of those where, hey, at that particular point, I'm either saying, okay, I'm just going to exit and look for a point above where the stop is, or follows down a little bit until it makes a little bit uh, further bottom and look at it from that standpoint. That said, still, I expect these to be very short-lived, uh, long setups, which means you've got to be active with your... Uh, uh, stop configurations, particularly once you break above that ABM, um, you know, either picking the low of that previous bar there to, you know, then move up to the ABM once you break above it, because uh, it's going to be volatile. Uh, there's just no question about it. Uh, this one, not as attractive on the setup, and that's why we have paint too, because the P2 really examines this understanding of, yes, you get that violent 
upswing to start with, and that's great. And this is always the debate I had um, from a short-term trader standpoint versus scalping. Um, I would often take these trades and be able to, you know, get my five, six, seven points and then boom, you exit and then the retrace comes and then the build for the actual secondary buy starts up uh, and that tends to be a little bit longer uh, swing trade. So that's what the whole point of the P2 uh, setup was because it's recognizing the red DOC pivot, uh, the X coming in, meaning that you've met all the criteria for uh, an improved situation in this case you had rising gold above the 23 percent um things moving in the right direction of course they you know kind of softened immediately but you still maintained a fairly decent shakeout there and once it went to positive that led to the move plus with the declining uh morganacci 100 percent you knew there was pressure pulling price at least uh, attempting to it uh, higher so definitely worth its uh, risk reward we certainly had uh, plenty of the uh, DOC spreads to take advantage of uh, that led to nice moves and while they look contruncated on here these were still fairly sizable ranges um, you're talking about here we were 24.17 dropping 23.70 I mean it's 40 plus points on a 5k chart that's uh, pretty dramatic um, again this one P2X is P3s, everything all building up so you can feel the, the extraordinary pressure and the explosion hitting the 50% and then doing DLC spread. I'm at that point thinking, wow, I'm going to go extra big on this when it comes to the short. Uh, hit a double whammy on it. Boom, right there for the secondary one. And yeah, that one... Uh, certainly cascaded further because if they're applying all of that uh, momentum to it and not getting much of a result you know that there's a lot of overhead pressure and boom it translates itself into broader selling power fast forwarding towards the end of the day after that deep cascade which went a little extra here and this is where we get these uh, differential candles because what they're doing is representing um, uh, significant points here you had a move that went directly from the negative to positive shakeout right there but um, burnout configuration within that you still had falling um, gold as well as uh, blue in this particular case um, what I like to do is look for these where you know you can go ahead and take the trade but I often uh, particularly on the orange candles and that I will wait until I get uh, confirmation mode that it's going to continue in that direction um, I don't mind giving up that 100% of the bottom but oftentimes they do make the new low and or catch the bottom and that makes it easy to go ahead and uh, capture those from a return standpoint um, here the P2 started and you got the reset of the APM at this particular point and it began its um, move back up at that particular point uh, ended up with a fairly decent short at this particular spot it wasn't anything uh, hyper dramatic but we came down uh, started making higher extreme histograms and then boom the turnaround with the PX's it was just a little bit below where it was and then that led to a pretty decent uh, rally going above and you can see how far uh, over the uh, plus 15 the magenta and that was so I wasn't even interested in touching these from a short standpoint at that particular stage uh, it wasn't until we got over here that uh, these were even playable but uh, what you were getting is uh, pretty quick turnarounds you weren't getting a deep break of the DOC red below the negative 13 um, and so it just really was uh, kind of a consolidation and that, that created actually a short squeeze that pushed things up it's still playable within the short setup within these, you know, miniature moves. But when you're hitting, um, and it's always been a debate for me to put these up, the P3s above the 61% uh, range, um, tend not to break out that much further. And so, um, but I want to point them out simply so that you can see them. But uh, I don't usually take an entry from that range unless I've got uh, some pretty significant uh, smooth buildup of my um, shakeout. I would expect to be seeing gold rising at that particular point, and um, I would be looking for a pretty consistent histogram going. In this case, it was just making lower and lower ones as you were going higher. So what I did... Um, <laughs> 
right before going to bed there in the wee hours, we were right up into this range. And all I did was say, okay, what are my retrace values? And what's my overall target? So what I did was I just went there and we looked at it and it was looking at around 2,400 even. I thought, okay, I'll have a portion there. I still had a portion at my um, full target, which was uh, done at the 23. Uh, 80 range and sure enough that all filled overnight um, I still have a couple of them left over and then we ended the well I was asleep during this huge massive rally off of uh, the EU stimulus package which is gonna be so fantastic everyone's gonna want it uh, no that's just gonna hype things to slow the descent and give us another great opportunity to add into shorts which is exactly what it's doing so as always I will be on the Skype chat periodically. Yesterday was Bella's birthday, so I uh, missed the later portion of things, but uh, no worries. I didn't miss a whole lot. Uh, just gave us more opportunities to uh, attack what is a unfortunate situation. Trade well. We will talk to you later.